And so I'm really excited today to talk about 5G from the context of its use cases and its utilization, but also from the context of foreign relations. What does it look like with Japan? How do we actually think about the Chinese relationship around 5G, particularly what we have seen in this last administration? And how do we envision the future, the future of mobile technology? 5G will be incredibly consequential when it comes to enabling new types of digital economy, enabling applications that we can't imagine, uh, whether in healthcare, education, agriculture. It's not clear that we will need what's currently touted as 5G to get the services I mentioned. The usual reason why you have every 10 years a new generation is not necessarily because of the technology at all. It's because we were relying on a basically traditional phone system and the equipment was basically at the end of its life allow some industrial applications like remote medicine or smart manufacturing, smart agriculture. In the Japan context, these are critical um, for future economic growth as the, the population is facing decline and the aging society is, is shrinking the labor population. Japan, on the other hand, uh, 5G became the catalyst and the innovation uh, for the technology area. Uh, from the perspective of uh, potential competitive advantage, it's uh, certainly uh, concerning to me uh, that the U.S. has lagged behind relative to the opportunities in this space, certainly when it comes to moving forward towards leveraging applications of 5G. 5G has been highlighted as an industry of the future by the Trump administration. I think uh, President-elect Biden uh, certainly has highlighted the importance of innovation and investments in infrastructure. Uh, U.S. DOD also the uh, spending $600 million for 5G testing for national security perspective. And 5G drew attention when Huawei ban came into the picture from the particularly market dominance and the security threats perspective. When it comes to applications of 5G starting to really take shape, Within an, a dynamic industry and in terms of uh, potential economic significance, China is, by most metrics, really at the forefront of that. You can only see a handful of, of suppliers like Nokia, Ericsson, um, Huawei, Ziti, Samsung, and some Japanese um, companies, which is um, has, a, in terms of global market share, less than 1%. Um, and the largest market share, um, there's a large market share by Chinese vendors, which is considered as high-risk high vendors from many countries. But in the past, there are some indication on the threats from the back door uh, that found, particularly in UK. And we've uh, seen relatively shoddy security from Huawei's networks and products in the past. We've seen a lack of transparency about the relationship between Huawei and the Chinese government and plenty of reasons for concern on, on that front. If you actually code, if you did the right thing right now, you use the diversity so that you don't have a single player who yeah. can see all your data. They can have back doors. I don't care. They can have back doors and it can go straight to, you know, my worst enemy. I don't care because on top of that, I am doing my coding, which we have actually shown recently is post-quantum secure. The president-elect Biden has probably has a more multilateral approach and will continue on the ongoing, probably the bilateral dialogues that's been held between the U.S. and Japan. I think this Tokyo Olympic, um, if it happened, I hope it happens, um, but it would be an interesting case to see see diverse different kind of applications or um, different kind of experience on, on, on the on the citizen side. Imagine the use of the technology can actually enable the games where people can experience those all over the world. Imagine the extent to which young people who may not have the abilities to actually be a, become a track and field runner can put in an AR VR headset and actually experience the runner that is making it to the second or the third uh, aspect of the finish line. I think going forward, a recognition of uh, 
of the values of an open approach of of concentrating on resilience as a core principle uh, i think will well will be critical 5g is kind of enabler for bad guys as well as good guys so how we can uh, utilize well